Hello, my name is Dark Prism, and I am going to show off this world that I've built in Minecraft. Um, I'm going to show you this world here, uh, take you on a little tour, and uh, I'm going to ask you guys to do something for me. I'm going to do some Let's Play videos, and I want to know what you guys are looking for, what you want to see. So let's uh, start off the tour here. Now uh, I am up on top of my main house right now, watching the sunrise, beautiful as ever. Um, now right off the bat I'm sure you can tell I am running a couple mods and uh, I am using the painterly pack. Uh, I'm actually running a custom painterly pack um, from their uh, texture uh, pack builder um, and I can make that available if uh, anybody likes what they see. Um, so up here on top of my house, um, my my original house, um, I've got a, 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 a mob trap over there, um, perpetually burning forest, always fun. And uh, that walkway leads over to my castle, you can see in the distance there. So we're just going to go down here inside my house and I'll show you around. As I said, this is my original house before I built the castle and expanded out. So uh, you can see how I had a setup here initially. This is going down into the mountain that I built up on top of. And I had a little storage area here. Uh, now my storage area is in my castle. So there's just a couple rooms built out underneath the house here. Nothing special. Um, there are a couple exit doors out the sides of the mountains here. Which I'll show you. You can see. the opposite side of that mountain there. And down here we come to my indoor tree farm. Now, uh, on each level here, I've built a little walkway that goes around to help me harvest when that time comes. Let's go down to the bottom here and show you how I've got it all planted. And I have a central column with ladders there to make it easier to get to the bottom. It's a pretty simple tree farm setup here. And it works really well. Um, it's uh, it's pretty tall. It's over 15 blocks tall, so uh, I get some pretty good branches going on. Now, if we go down this way, this is as far down as that goes. Got a little infinite water pool there. This is my outside on the base of the mountain, and this walkway over here goes to the castle, which I'll show you now. There's a little bit down there that uh, we will get back to. That's what I consider my piece de resistance of this map. Welcome to my castle. As you can see, I've got a nice big center spire there. goes to the very top of the map and then down into the basement goes to the very bottom of the map which we will get to in a moment this is where my storehouse is now got some furnaces and chests as you can see two floors 
Lots of stuff. All I have labeled right now is my dirt and cobblestone. Now this is my infinite stair. As you can see, it's quite long. Now back here, I've just there's a uh, couple caves up there. Uh, whenever I find cave systems, I like to uh, block them off, put a door in, so nothing can escape while I'm uh, exploring them. And since that infinite stair is so long and uh, arduous. I've got a uh, simple minecart system here to get me up to the top. There we have that. And I've got uh, two doors in the castle there that go outside. And then I've also got parapets. see it's quite the castle and we can go up on top of these to get a better view looks out I really do like this panelly pack um, and uh, I'm using Mr. Messiah's mods so uh, I'm using the uh, better light mod out of that which really makes this game look really beautiful So then each of these parapets then has a uh, walkway down into uh, the uh, castle wall, which runs the whole way around. Now, uh, as you can tell, it takes forever to get to the top and bottom. So I've got a little uh, trick that I've used, which is I've got some water there and a sign to keep the water back, and that allows me to drop from the top to the bottom, which I will demonstrate now. And as you can see, this is the top of the world. I can't actually build any higher than this. Well, let me place blocks. So that's my ground for exp express. But even more impressive is the basement express. This is actually the highest you can fall from in Minecraft. at the bottom because that is in fact bedrock and on top of that ooh. so as you can see I got down to the bottom here and I started digging this all out each one of these uh, slots here is their uh, exposed uh, nothingness uh, and I am planning to keep digging that out Although I did discover a cave up here and a dungeon, which you can see here. Now, this is a pretty extensive cave system that I've uh, thoroughly explored. And you can see my nether portal there. Now, you have to be thinking at this point, 
well, it's easy to get down there with those water systems, but it's got to be a to get back up. And you'd be right. So, again with the mine carts. And there we are. So that's my castle. Now there's one last thing I'd like to show you. So you took notice of the uh, mob spawn, uh, mob tra trap at the beginning, which is a water-based trap, which uh, allows me to um, basically aggro mobs and have them chase me, and then jump into that, and they'll drown. But you know, that's not really a very fun way to do it. So, what I've decided to do instead, and what I just finished, is a more intensive uh, mob spawning system. Now, what I've got here is a gigantic room with water channels. And it's kept very dark, as you can see. You can't even see in there, actually, so you can't see. Um, keep it very dark. And then what happens is the monsters spawn up top there and run around. And then they're all channeled once they fall into this water down in the middle here. And then out of that they fall the whole way down. Now what we have here is a mob grinder. Now what happens is they go down this water chute and the mobs from up top obviously drop straight down to here. And then they're funneled into that lava and they die there. Now you can see the ladders there which keep them from uh, keep the lava from going down. So they actually drop their loot underneath the lava. And this is a chicken grinder, because chickens are too short, so they come and they get hit by that. Now if we go down the stairs here, you can see the loot collection area. And there you have it. This uh, has been my world. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the look. Um, I'm always looking for new ideas of stuff to do. Um, and as I said, I want to do a Let's Play video. So I'm going to be starting that. I'm going to uh, start a new world. And uh, hopefully take suggestions from you guys. And um, try and do some pretty cool stuff in there. And uh, survive at the same time. <laughs> Alright, uh, so leave comments below. Let me know uh, what you want to see and uh, I'll show it. Alright, thanks for watching.